guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So in today's episode it is going to be about a fossil for the first time in a little while um, because obviously life just gets a bit hectic sometimes but it's so good to be back in my usual habitat and not traveling so much and I'm kind of uh, yeah just catching up on everything which is amazing but I hope you're all doing well and in today's video I'm going to be prepping a bit of a jigsaw so it is an ammonite shock although I am in the kind of process of trying to get get access to some other types of fossils and you know a bit more variation so that fossil Fridays aren't so ammonite Fridays um, just to try and like broaden it into more geology mineralogy different types of fossils as well so I think I'm gonna do a mineral Mondays and a fossil Fridays like that's my long-term goal I'm not sure when they'll start to be regular but that's what I'm planning so feel free to put down below any uh, cool suggestions of what you might want to see or where you might want me to go but um yeah so I've got I've got some plans but I just thought I'd share because I'm rubbish at keeping keeping secrets um so I'm going to be prepping today a Harpoterus ammonite that is in one, two, three, it's in four pieces. So it's like an adult jigsaw, and I just have to piece it back together so I can show you guys what it's going to look like. So this is what it currently looks like. So you can see it there. So I need to prep the center ever so slightly. So I'm going to do that using a Dremel and then I'm going to super glue the other pieces together. So I'll show you the pieces. So we've got this chunk here. <laughs> then this is the main piece that needs a lot of prep. So that's the piece that actually has the center um, rock there. So I'll prep that one. And then we just have the main chunk and this one. So it kind of, it joins together very nicely. So I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be a good prep once I've glued it and put a little bit of paraloid on it but the key thing today is dremeling the center so that's what we're going to be doing and I did get I don't know if I've shown you guys I got some jazzy new safety glasses that my glasses can go underneath of like how good are these so they actually have like um protection on the sides and the top just because if I'm chiseling or like chipping away I don't I, I want to protect my eyes I don't want bits going into the sides so safety comes first and the same with lung protection so when you're using a, a like an electronic or an engraver or an air abrasive make sure you have um some lung protection and just a face mark of some sort just to filter out those rock particles because no one wants to inhale dust that is for sure right so i'm going to flip you guys over now and we're going to get prepping Alrighty. so these are the pieces just on my table so you can see them again so this is the main one that i'm going to be working on so i'm just going to move these ones to the side so that they're nice and safe so i'm just going to be engraving this one using my dremel 290 i will link it down below i get the customized nibs from zoic paleo tools so i'll put that all down below if you guys would like to use the same thing so um yeah i'm just going to try and chip away at this centerpiece here hopefully it doesn't fracture it but i've got the glue at the ready if it does so let's get to it
So I think that's the best I'm going to get it. So it's cleared up the inner world really lovely. However, the center did get sacrificed when the chunk kind of broke off. So I tried to take this center piece off of this um, kind of excess matrix piece, but unfortunately it is very much cemented in and I just don't think I'm gonna get anywhere with that. So I'm going to see what the whole thing looks like without getting the center piece. Um, so I'm gonna piece it together now. So here's the main bit. Then we have this little piece. Then in goes that piece, like so. And then we have the bottom piece, if I can get it to join. Definitely go to that. So that's what it will look like currently without the center. So I still think it's a lovely piece. Um, it has some of that inner whirl, it's just missing one little piece. So I think I'm gonna start gluing it together now so that I can then paraloid it because I think that will help bring it out. So first things first, I'm going to put this piece on. So I'm just going to do this with super glue. So I'm just going to brush it off because I don't think it needs to be ridiculously um, secure. It just needs to, it pieces together very nicely. So I just think a little bit will go a long way. I'm just going to apply some pressure to that there. And then the few little cracks that you see here, I'm going to try and infill with some of the rock sediment that came off during the prep, but I'm going to put that in with the paraloid. And then this piece goes like that, so. I'm just applying some pressure to it. Like that. And then this final piece. Just secure on like that. And voila, we're starting to get somewhere. So that already is holding beautifully. So I'm just gonna put some of the dust um, that came off just into the cracks here just to make them flush. So I'm literally just picking up bits of the powder that came off the Dremel and I'm just kind of running them into those cracks. And you can see they just kind of make them almost disappear. And then I'm going to drop some paraloid over the top to seal it. Almost like when you get cracks in wood or stuff like that, you, you put it in like a glue paste you put bits of the wood shaving, that's all I'm doing, I'm just doing it with the dust that's come off the prep. So as you can see all those cracks are now completely disappearing on my ammonite. So I'm just going to keep doing that until they're all gone. So now I need to be very careful when I put paraloid on this because I don't want to get unnecessary dirt in the rest of the detail. So I'm brushing the fossil that around the cracks to get any excess dust off.
And there you have it, a completed Jurassic Jigsaw. So it didn't quite turn out as perfect as I was expecting. The center did get ever so slightly lost, but I think apart from that, it is a beautiful example of a Harposerus ammonite and I think it's pieced together lovely considering it was in four pretty significant pieces. So I'm pretty chuffed with how that has turned out. And I just realized it stands perfectly on its own. So it's literally made to go on a shelf somewhere. I like it when the fossils are kind of in a bit of matrix, especially when they can kind of self-stand like this because I just think there's just something perfect about it so I love how that's turned out and the ribs on this are just beautiful look at that and I don't think the cracks are that noticeable either I think by filling them in ever so slightly it just it's not the first thing you look at when you see this piece which is what I wanted to do oh it's not going to stand up now is it oh there we go Ta-da! So there you have it, a very successful Jurassic Jigsaw. So I, I actually had a lot of fun doing this one and I kind of love how it's turned out. It sits so perfectly in its little rock. Look how gorgeous that's turned out. I know you guys have already seen it, but I just wanted to show it again. Like the ribs on this are so fine. It is just a beautiful Harposterous ammonite. Like I'm really glad I was able to salvage it from the, the few pieces that it once was. Um, and they, I was probably guilty of that, it was probably how I got it out the rock because I'm sure many of you know fossils don't always behave when you're trying to chisel them out but look how gorgeous that is and the colours as well so I'm very chuffed with my with my little little piece here but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe if you did my Instagram and Twitter are down below as well if you'd like to follow me on there I am starting to post a bit more frequently so um, check those out if you would like to do so but I hope you're all doing well and hopefully I'll see you next time thanks for watching